All right, so my iron was getting pretty bad, so um, so I went on Amazon and purchased an iron. Um, I never heard of his name before, but um, had really good reviews. It's a professional iron, steam iron. Um, it's got a whole bunch of options on it. LCD screen, um, anti-drip, self-cleaning. It's all things my old iron didn't have. Um, I had my iron for about. 15 years and um, it's doing pretty good and I, so I got every penny out of it and I'm sure I bought it on on base uh, military base so it may have cost 10 bucks so um, so I'm up bring something else you know um, so I purchased this iron off Amazon I, I'll put the link below um, for, for um, the iron so I wanted something different something new something I can use uh, I say I wear a lot of shirts and ties, so I'm doing a lot of ironing pretty much every morning or either every night. I need to get better at ironing in the evening. This is in the morning, it takes a little bit of time, but it, it also is like for me it's like a I can wake up when I'm actually ironing. So it comes with the trusty dusty um, manual here. It kind of goes over some of the features and functions. Um, there's a little handy card here that says if there is a problem, it goes to the different issues and causes and solutions. So this would be good to have. Um, I'm not sure um, how many problems you have with irons. Like I said, I've had mine over 15 years. And it has tips for people who never ironed before, I guess. So water droplets, uh, use of tap water, sort your linen, empty your iron, store, and maintenance has self clean so that should be good. So if you never had before, college student, someone young, maybe a husband who's just got divorced and his wife did all the ironing, that will probably be pretty good to use these tips for, tips from the experts. There's also another some more paperwork in here. This is a live chat anytime you got any questions, they will chat with you and give you even more tips about how to iron, which would be helpful. This is pretty cool. So um, I bought a steamer a couple of years ago and it had a, um, a thing that so you load your water up so you're not sticking any of the faucet in your sink or or bathroom sink. So it looks, everything looks pretty wrapped pretty well. It's got some other stickers on here. It's in the box pretty well. Um, taking it out of the box. It is... I'm tossing it around now. But... The iron itself is in plastic. It's packaged pretty well. I'm not moving with this box going on here. It is it looks pretty cool. So, a but it's 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 made out of good material. You can tell it's not flimsy. My old iron stairs is pretty flimsy. This thing here, important please note, this unit was tested through factories prior to shipping. Blah blah blah. There might be some residue, water residue in the tank because they've already tested it. It has on the top features here. This is button here is for your for your steam. You hit it, you get your steam coming out. Good for when you want to press something or make you know make sure it's extra extra warm, extra hot. You hit this button, steam comes out. Here is actually the spray button here. You spray this, water comes out of the spray tube here. Spray your fabrics, then go over steam and get it really nice. And then here's the steam level here. If you can see that there, it goes from the bottom, which is a lot of steam, to no steam. And that's for your regular ironing. When you iron regular, it will steam will come out. If you want no steam, you put it on the top. If you want a lot of steam coming out, you put it on the bottom. If you do put it on the top, like I said, you can hit the steam button here, and steam will come out. Here's your LED screen here, which is pretty cool. On this side, it has the temp um, and the on-off button. It's pretty cool here. Self-clean, which is going to be great because I've I've burned a couple of my iron a couple of times, and self-clean would be helpful to have. Also, too, inside of the iron, it has what level you want to be on. Remember, this is an LED uh, screen, so one would be for. So I can get a screen one. Nylons two, silks three, polyester four, all the way to jeans eight, and linen nine. So you make sure you have the right heat when you're ironing different things. Here's the side for you here. Drip stop. Get the drip stop here. 
here's your max water here when you when you put the water on top you're going to come in here you're going to lift this top thing up here you're going to pour your water in here and you're going to use your cup here to pour your water in so you do this water in there keeps it from spilling on this side there's a sticker which we'll take off it says a warning something important uh, tested in the labs once again prior to shipping may, may be water inside so we know that already that's good on these sides here you can change your temps here on the side up and down the left side where it's on off at is up and then the right side is down so you can change your temperature you can go from from one to seven so no actually it's you can go from one to nine there which is cool very nice product i really like it it's got a really good weight to it i'm sure it's going to do some great things when i'm using the iron like i say i'll show you my other video my other iron and it's nowhere close to this bad boy so i'm really excited about using this i'm going to plug her up here and go through some of the options on the led screen and let you know how it goes all right let's put it up here and let's get that plug out what i'm going to do is plug this in now the wall so we have the red LED light on. It says it's in the off position, right? Off. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run and grab some water real quick and put a little bit of water in there just in case I'm um, actually gonna turn it on and I don't want it to, you know, first time around, turn it up too high and do something stupid with it. It's up right back. All right, so now I have some water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this nice cup that it, this uh, kept, cup that came with it, and I'm going to fill up the water, pour it right in there. So easy to do this way, and better than sitting it under a sink or a faucet and getting water on your iron. Right, so I just put a little bit in there. All right, now I'm going to close the lid. Of course, you want to do that. All right, and now what we're going to do is I'm going to turn it on. So now, on this side here, the left side, it's the on off. So now I'm going to go to on or on sorry and it's going to say acrylic so acrylic if we remember acrylic was the top the lowest heat actually on the top so it's it's one so now it's saying acrylic and if i want to go up one hit the button to the left it goes to nylon there you go so nylon was number two on the list right also too you can go all the way up to well, i'm thinking it's saying the beep saying it's ready now but you can go all the way up and see if you once you go up to a certain level if you saw that the steam automatically came on the steam signal came on so poly, polyester and blend no steam you're gonna get just a straight iron low heat once you go to six to wool you're gonna get steam so it means when it says steam it means if you lower it down steam's gonna come out now it's, it's like i'm lowering it down now and it's not all the way hot yet but it's saying if I was ironing, I feel the heat now. Steam is going to come out when I lower it down. We'll let it get a little bit warmer because I just turned it on. So wool is six, cotton is seven, jeans are eight, and linen is nine. And linen has a steam on it. And it says max here as well, so you know you get the max. Now, uh, the water I put in was regular uh, room temperature water, so it's only been on a second, so it's going to take a little bit. But once it does warm up, when you lower the iron down, now it's warmed up let's see here so now i'm starting to smell the iron warm up and another beep happened and i'm going to lower it down now on nine make iron motions and there's the steam now i hit the steam button so that makes the steam noise so there you go so now hitting it again and now there's your steam and then if you want to use water come out and i won't do it because i don't want to ruin my table you hit the button here Oh, you know why it wasn't steaming? Because now, so now it's on nine and it's warm, right? So now I'm gonna lean, lean it over and do the iron air motion. And there's your steam, right? This is on max steam. If I want to squirt water out, I hit this button here. So that's pretty much about it. I'm gonna lower it down, temperature down. So now I'm done, done doing my linen. I'm gonna lower it down to 
silk, which takes the automatic steam off. And there it is. Lean it over, no steam coming out now because it's just silk, lower heat. If you ever used this iron before, be good time to kind of comment below or just let me know if you used it before, dislikes, likes. And I'm cool. Thanks for looking at the review. And everybody take care. Be safe. I don't know if I was telling you guys about my iron. So this is a iron that I bought probably, I don't even know what company that is. <laughs> it's just weird. 1200 watt iron. I've had it for about, like I said, 15 years, maybe more than that. Probably it's still got the same functions as the one I just showed you. The spray and the steam to actually reverse the steam level and the thing where water goes into right here. Um, if you look closely, this thing is like, you see the marks here? It means it's overheated. It's been overheated, even on the other side. You see the marks here? This thing's probably on its last leg. Look, look, look how dirty this is. It's disgusting. That's what I was ironing my clothes with. Wow, really? No self-cleaning. So like, once I go back, no self-cleaning. So, the thing is, I purchased my new iron. I'm gonna love it. I'm putting it right here in my room. Here, look at the look at the comparison. The comparison. This I'm go. I'm moving up. This is a beast. This thing is a beast here. This thing here, you've done me well all these years. R.I.P.